Hey, what's up, what's up, how you doing? It's your man Rondell Jordan, a.k.a. DJ BlackSwanRadio.com You are listening to another IlluminatedNubian.com production Which is a production based upon my collection of books, Bible study guides Which are a non-religious perspective of the Bible, what I do is add a higher detail, higher definition point of view, an unbiased perspective, but a perspective that is from an African and an American perspective, because there is a connection between the people who are the original inhabitants of the Nile River Valley and the people who were the original inhabitants of the land we call the Americas. Now, I am speaking to you today in English because of the 1607 voyage of the Englishmen who entered the Powhatan River, which we call today James, in honor of King James, the the funder of the scholarship behind the interpretation of the Bible that is the most popular book on our planet, which is the the King James Bible, but the Bible. And I like to talk about this because I think the Exploring the word of God gives us access to the real world of God. And me and a gentleman that I met at work here recently named Jeremiah. Jeremiah. And, you know, he's, I believe he said, 23, 24 years old and he has a great or keen sense directed towards God and we had a bunch of great conversations this week which for me makes my job a pleasure right you know this is the type of interaction and the connections that you know I crave right and you know the young man is inspired by both the culture the African culture but also by God and in our society Christianity has a monopoly on the subject of God and the subject of the Bible and it is what it is it's not something that I seek to change other than to give greater perspective to give a high definition understanding of the scriptures and so that you can translate it into real world experiences because like I I told the young man that we begin our lives our adulthoods as believers right we have to believe what is being told to us by our parents, by teachers, by grandparents. And much of what makes us who we are is the traditions, things that have been passed down for generation and generation, which means that we have to go through our roots, right? In order to connect to our source, our origins. Can't forget where you came from 
But also you have to recognize where you are and who you are as a result of what you came from. And then it is our duty to keep the lineage multiplying and prospering forward. And that is true, real world, eternal life. The lineage living on generation after generation, generation after generation. Because God said, be fruitful and multiply. Fill the earth, subdue it, (laughs) have dominion. But this is before the Lord came into the picture. The Lord has a different agenda. The Lord is the master of society, comprised as one. And in the beginning, his feet was like brass. But today, his face is as white as snow. Not only his face, but his hair is white as snow. So when we look at Biden, he is a figurehead. He is the face of our society's power. And his face is white and his hair is white as wool. And we know that he and we, based upon him being the head of state, the representative representative of our nation he represents a nation at the end of its age but the face of power one of the things I tell my son is that we have to be able to handle The pros and the cons The good and the bad The good and the evil I can tell you that the water Beyond the garden Is sweet And quenches your thirst But if I don't tell you that There are Lions and hyenas And vipers And vultures And crocodiles in the water you may not make it to the water and if you do you may not make it back because your knowledge or lack of knowledge makes you unfit to be sovereign but on the same or on the opposite hand Knowledge makes a man unfit to be a slave. So it is good for a time to bask in the bliss of innocence. But after a point in time in life to bask in ignorance is no longer blissful but ignorant and this is the difference between Adam in his garden and Noah in his vineyard or his farm you see both of these men became unconscious Adam was made unconscious by his Lord, the Lord of the land, his landlord. His landlord gave him access to all the fruits of the garden, except for the fruits of knowledge. 
And in Genesis 3.22 The Lord confesses that <laughs> Knowledge Makes man like gods Knowing good and evil Least he put out his hand And take also of the tree of life And eat of it And live forever And so People think that living forever Is one human being Living Without ever dying And that is not Natural <laughs> That concept is not of God there's no evidence of it anywhere In the natural world That is a concept of man Which Is Personified in the scriptures As the Lord The master We use the English word Lord Because it sounds better For master Just like the English word garden sounds better for better than plantation. Although Adam was resident labor who dwelt amongst trees and livestock. <laughs> that is by definition a plantation, not a garden. Garden is a small piece of land for flowers and fruits. But once you start getting into livestock And you start getting into trees And you start getting into resident, la resident labor That definition of garden is no longer applicable Or applicable But we, we use it in tradition Just like when someone says That Adam bit the fruit as if that fruit was an apple Not knowing that that Is an agent of discord From Zeus's daughter Iris Or Eris The goddess of discord The Romans called her discordia The apple Isn't biblical The apple is Greco Greco There's so much To uncover There's so much to discover And This is the reason why I have committed Myself to Creating this As part of my body of work That will Supersede my body Here at work My body of work that Points Our minds Towards God But not only That Through our roots our ancestry The tree of knowledge For the sake of The tree of life That which sprouts from us Our offspring To keep the lineage Moving forth In eternal life See The reason why The Lord separated from God in Genesis 3 and 4 This is the reason why Most people don't notice They conflate the Lord as God But no Just like Enoch The Lord walked with God <laughs> But man Can stray from God And the reason why Is because what God had blessed In Genesis 1 28 and said Be fruitful and multiply The Lord cursed And pie Which is